Good morning, guys. I am up, barely awake, <laughs> but it's time for me to do my meditation. So the first thing that I like to do in the morning is wake up and do my meditations and affirmations. When I was working my full-time corporate job, I kind of took for granted the fact that money would always be there. Like, you just work every day, you sign onto your computer, and then every other Friday, that direct deposit hits. You know what I'm saying? So like, I never really had to try in order to make that money. Yeah, it was stressful and it took up a lot of my time, but like, I could just skate by. I knew what I was doing and the money would just automatically come since that's no longer the case and I quit that job, still the best decision I ever made, but now I'm relying completely on myself to make money. Thankfully, I've given myself a financial buffer so I'm not desperate to make money right at the moment. I am actually able to take a break, but moving forward, I want to be a successful full-time entrepreneur. I want to be completely in control and fulfilled by the work that I do and the money that I make. And for me, that self-confidence, that ability to just know that I have what it takes to be successful as an entrepreneur, that doesn't necessarily naturally come from the inside. But the good thing is what I've learned and what I truly, truly believe is that you can convince yourself and the universe of whatever you want and it will actually come true. So what I do is I sit here in the morning, I listen to my affirmation and manifestation YouTube video. It's a 17 minute video. And I just repeat over and over to myself, I am successful, I am abundant, I am creative, I have value to add, I am important, I matter. Like all that hokey dokey stuff that you might not believe in, but it really helps to shift my mindset and allow me to have a positive outlook on the day. And you guys, the first step to achieving anything great is believing that you can do it. That goes for your diet too. There's no point in setting off on the keto diet if you're just thinking, oh, I'm just gonna fail at this too. They always become self-fulfilling prophecies. You have to believe it first. But the good news is you don't have to do that alone. There's help. There is help to help you believe it. And so I listen to my manifestations in the morning and it really just sets me off on the right path. So I'm gonna do that. And then it's time to exercise. And then it's roast day. Ooh, rubs hands together like Birdman. Comment down below if you get the reference. Okay guys, it's almost time to work out, but before that happens, you know what I gotta do? I gotta do the zip fizz shake, and for that, I need me a zip fizz. Bam! Fruit punch. Oh yeah, ooh, that looks good. Okay guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. having a great day, to reaching your goals, to putting all that positive energy to good use, and to making yourself proud. Mmm. Mmm. being a bad boy but you're my maddie princess but you're my maddie princess good girl maddie melton sit good boy way to take your time tootie way to do everything on your own schedule okay guys i'm sitting here at my desk it is a new setup and i am loving it <laughs> actually what we did was just turn my desk so that it faces the television. So now I can be sitting here being productive, but also watch TV. As usual, starting my day off with cello wisps and almonds. But before I do that, one thing that I really wanna do is test out these new wireless microphones that I got. I don't know if you can hear, but it's kind of echoey in here. And I really want to see if I can improve the sound quality of my videos. So I want to test out my microphones. For that, I'm gonna need a partner. Richie! So I've called in an expert. Let's go play. <laughs> you never know when we're recording uh, here in the Weathers not. household. Apparently not. All right guys, the live is over. I am in the middle of practicing my Spanish. 
I use two apps to practice my Spanish. The first one is called Drops, and it's basically just a vocabulary app. All they do is quiz you on different types of vocabulary. You can see fruits, vegetables, more vegetables, and then they have like different categories such as travel talk, like meet and greet. These are introductory phrases like, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm lost. I'm confused. Please help. Buy and bargain. Ooh, I'm excited to move on to that one. That will help me so much when yard sale season is actually here. I love this app because all you're doing is practicing words and it keeps track of how many vocabulary words you've learned. If you can see that, I'm up to 425 already. I am excited to learn more. And the good thing about this app is that it only lets you do 15 minutes a day because it's like, look, you don't need to wear yourself out. As you can see, my timer is at zero because I'm done today. And then I just switch over to Duolingo. Duolingo teaches you sentence structure and conjugation and, and how to actually form words and phrases. So it's been really cool to take the straight vocabulary that I'm learning from drops and apply it over here. So now I'm moving on to Duolingo and I am starting to learn. Ooh, I'm continuing with fashion, absolutely. I always try to see if I can skip a level first because I've taken a fair amount of Spanish in my life and I want to try to advance as many levels as possible. Mi novio siempre usas camisetas rojas. That means my boyfriend always wears red t-shirts. Got him! You're right! I knew I was correct. Okay, so I'm going to do about... Oh, God. Okay, so I am going to do about 15 minutos más of Espanol, and then it's time for coffee. Comment down below, can you wink with both eyes? Comment down below, can I wink with both eyes? <laughs> Look, I got this one pretty good. This one, I feel like I have to scrunch my whole face. Is it a wink if like your whole face is into it? Then you're just blinking hard at that point. Okay, adios. Okay guys, I am down working in the basement. I am having my Bulletproof coffee. It's the same thing I always have. I have that chocolate almond milk. I have a cup of coffee, tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I have some sweetener. I have a scoop of that collagen. And I know a couple weeks ago, I was going on and on about how those flavored coffees don't really matter, but like, I recently just picked up that McDonald's salted caramel coffee and like that has a flavor to it. it. It is delicious. That makes this stuff taste awesome. So I'm just gonna drink this and work on some stuff. Okay guys, it is lunch time and that means it is roast time. Oh my gosh, like, you guys, I cannot even. Okay, so let's talk about the staples from Taco Tray, okay? We have the hot and spicy pork rinds with some guacamole. Taco Tray or not, that is a delicious side dish. And then also on the side here, we just have shredded lettuce that I decided to cover in spicy brown mustard and hot sauce. Like, that's honestly all the salad that I need. This just adds a lot of good crunch and a lot of good volume to this meal. But the P.S. de resistance, if you can see, is that roast. Do you see it right here? This is that Mississippi pot roast that I made and I also covered that in a good amount of hot sauce. I just got it out of the microwave. Look at that, it is steaming. It is falling apart. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good and it's so easy to make. You can definitely make your own seasoning mixes if you like, but just to make it super easy, I'm definitely okay with just using those packets. But you guys, this is delicious. So I'm just gonna eat this, drink the rest of my Zip Fizz from this morning and see what's on the DVR. You guys, we're coming to the time where like most of the shows are going on season finale and especially with times like these, things are getting cut short. I don't know what's on the TV, but I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this amazing lunch. Okay, you ready? Get your best angle. All the angles are your best angle. Oh I regret Ooh. asking you to film for me. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I am finishing the day off with my chocolate coconut butter fat bombs. And then I get two Sargento Sharp Cheddar Jack cheese snacks. Uh, we decided to go with the Prodigal Son. It's the season finale. I mean, overall, I give it a B. It's entertaining enough to watch. It's not my fave, but like, 
yeah, it'll do. It'll do when you're looking for something to watch. So I'm just gonna relax and have these and then I'll let you know if I get into anything else for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh my God, is that, is that a hair? See, that's what happens when you live with dogs. That's just her. Oh my gosh. Her wear. It's a lot better when you can control exactly what goes into your sweet treats. Oh, I got me a man that can make fire. Oh, what did he do right there? You are just a marvel. Yes, you are. Oh, look at it. Look at the flame. Oh we gonna be safe forever now because my man knows how to make fire. What are you cooking on that grill? Oh my gosh. You are cooking my love for you on that grill. Oh my, my love for you burns as hot as them flames right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay, now actually though, you said chicken? All right, so there we have some bone-in, skin-on chicken legs. Basic chicken legs, no, nothing fancy about it. Mm. Except this awesome fancy grill that's going on. Ew! Yuck! Love the sound effects. <laughs> All right, still a hard nope for me, but I'm assuming these look good. No one was in the audio yet until we get footage. The process. You can't ask for the test results in the first ten seconds. Okay. Ugh! Yuck! Okay. All right. I trust you to do what you think is best because I'm not stepping nowhere near them things. Ooh, it looks so good. I don't think so. <laughs> no, you know how to do it. It's okay. Smells good though, I'll tell you that. Comment down below, is it crazy that I don't like meat on a bone? Like, I don't like meat on a bone. Now pull that meat right off the bone and then that's a completely different conversation. But I cannot just like bite into a chicken leg like a savage. Do Savagery. You do you hear this? I mean, I can't do it. Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. I'm not gonna win this. It's hard to listen to you with the straight face. Feel your friends and family to remind you of my love. Okay guys, I've been downstairs for the past like three hours making t-shirts and whenever I'm making shirts, I like to put on music and sing at the top of my lungs and like, I don't have a voice right now. Like, I was singing everything from Betty Who to Jess Glenn. I just turned on the soundtrack to Hamilton and that was a mistake. <laughs> like. I don't have a voice, <laughs> so I am calling it a night. I am going to sit down and finish off the day with some uh, Jello, and I got diet ginger ale this week, and I'm really excited about that. So like, I have done some hard work today, and I am proud of myself. So I get to sit on and relax. Before I go, I wanted to open this box. I got a box from Catalina Crunch. Now I've seen their cereal and a couple of the keto crates but they sent me specifically a flavor of cereal to try i'll probably make an instagram post about it this weekend uh, let's see what we got here it is mint chocolate now i am really interested in trying this i love mint chocolate ice cream i love the combination of mint and chocolate i've tried catalina crunch before and i really like it but the thing is is that like you can't eat too much of it or it will like kill your stomach it's like full of fiber it's really heavy and so you pour yourself like a big bowl of cereal like you would with fruity pebbles or something like that you can't do that like it's too much so i'm gonna try this this weekend i'm looking forward to it have you had catalina crunch i mean there's tons of different cereals out there there's a cereal school there is what is that magic spoon uh high key just came out with some cereal there's lots of different cereals have you tried catalina crunch let me know in the comments down below okay i, I mean i'm done i'm gone like Thank you so much for tuning into this What I Eat Wednesday and I'll see you next week. Bye. Like it hurts. It hurts. <laughs>